Greetings, humans. My name is Garrett, aka G Money. I'm a technical writer on the documentation team here at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the domains interface. This interface allows you to create and manage multiple domains from a single cPanel account. In order for the domains interface to appear, you must be on cPanel and WHM version 76 or later, and your hosting provider must enable domain creation. Otherwise, you will only be able to create subdomains. To access the domains interface, first log into cPanel. Enter domains in the search bar. Click domains to display the interface. You will see a list of domains that exist on your cPanel account. If you don't have any domains other than the main domain, we can create one now by clicking create a new domain. A new interface will appear. Enter a domain name in the domain text box I'll enter example.com. Now click submit. And that's it. You're done. It's that easy. The list domains interface will reappear. You can create an email address and get rockin' and rollin' right away. Simply click create email and a new interface will appear. Back in the list domains interface, you can click manage to update configurations too. But I'll get back to that in a minute. Now, let's do something a little more complex. We are going to create a subdomain for the domain that we just created. Click create a new domain, the other interface will appear. Enter blog.example.com in the domains text box. Then click submit and create another. You'll see a success notification. Congratulations! If you want to store your files for the website in a different subfolder, you can. Let's create a domain that stores its files in a folder that isn't the default location. Enter store.example.com in the domains text box. Now deselect share document root with gmoneyisthebest.com. The document root text box appears. We can enter a new folder name called new folder. Then click submit to display the list domains interface. You will notice that the directory path for the document root is different than the other domains. If we click on that link, the file manager interface will appear. If we click the public HTML folder, we can see the new folder that we just created. Good job. Let's go back to the domains interface. Remember earlier I told you that we would talk about manage? Let's do that. Click manage for the store.example.com domain. Let's say that we changed our mind and we want to enter the original path for the document root. Enter the original path for the document root in the text box and click Update. Back to the list domains interface. Now the original document root file path is in place for store.example.com. Hmm, unfortunately our blog isn't doing as well as we had hoped. Let's get rid of that subdomain. Click Manage for blog.example.com. The new interface will appear. Click Remove Domain. Then click Yes! Remove this domain. Boom! Blog.example.com is no more. You will receive a success message in the new interface. I hope that you found this helpful. I have included the link to the documentation in the description below. For more information about cPanel, your hosting platform of choice, visit our website at cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at cPanel. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.